Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I just want to do a little bit review on my new boots, Tidewee hunting boots. So we did some research and we stumbled upon the Tidewees right here. Tidewee hunting boots. Um, and they can be used for duck hunting. I guess not really, you need waders for duck hunting. But I mean, if you're just, if you're not getting deep in the water, you can use them. Uh, turkey, um, they have the non uh, fence lit, but this is 400 grain for $20 or more. This is only $90 for this pair of boots. So I haven't really worn them much. I tried them on a few times, worn them around the house a little bit, and they're the most comfortable boot I've ever worn. And they fit my legs really good. They don't squeeze it. It's just like almost like a glove. I, when people say that, I never really understood what it meant until I put these boots on. <coughs> so I wore them today hog hunting. Went hog hunting with a buddy. Walked about a mile into the woods. And I'm telling you right now, my feet felt so good. So I got in contact with Tidewee uh, yesterday. And... Uh, we're gonna uh, be on their staff, which I'm really excited about because I'm telling you right now, these are worth it. Get you some Tidewee boots. I'm telling you, I promise. They, I, if you never heard of them, look into them. I promise you. Um, I actually, since I've noticed it, I've noticed that green sticker on a couple other people's boots. I was watching uh, Public Land Hunters or was it, that. You know who I'm talking about? The Public Hunters or public land hunters um the hunting public that's what's called the hunting public and a the guy they were hunting with had these boots he was dumping water out of them he he's not in their group but he's he they were hunting with him stay tuned for that and be ready guys keep hunting guys Hey, what's up everyone? Which for me is great because today we're gonna to be talking about some waterproof boots that I've been wearing. They're from a new company I've never worked with before, but their name is Hisia. And uh, these boots are gonna run you right around the $50 mark. So uh, they are going to be a very similar style to like a muck boot, but depending on what style of boot you buy from muck um, and what size and such, uh, you're gonna pay sometimes, you know, 20 or $30 more up to two or three times the price. So this is definitely more budget friendly. These are around $50, $55, so they're not like dirt cheap, um, but they have been a good boot for me so far, and I wanna talk about some of the things you should be aware of when you actually check out these boots. This is gonna be a little bit interesting because I got the boot off, which obviously means I have nothing on my foot right now, but um, let me give you a quick look at the boot up close. So basically, like a lot of these boots, um, you've got neoprene up top and then rubber on the bottom. A couple of things that I do like about these boots right off the bat. So on a, a pair of uh, muck boots that I have, um, basically the sole right here is, I, I don't know if it's completely separate and then added on, but the um, w where it is basically connected, because when you take your boot, boots off, often what people do is they put, you know, if this is my... This is my left foot here. I take my right foot and I put the toe of my right foot here as I pull the boots off. On my muck boots, that little section is starting to peel off. This looks to me like it's one piece of rubber all put together. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. More videos coming soon. Take care. Hey Dave Chamberlain here. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about the Dry Shod No Show Gusset hunting boots. So I'll bring you guys in close. We'll take an up close look at them. We'll look at some of the features that the boot has and why I'm really excited to wear them this fall. Okay guys, so we're opening up the No Show Gusset Ultra Hunt Camo Boot. So talking about the features, they're 100% waterproof. They have a hydro coat water repellent. So you'll have no more soggy boots. Water rolls off and dries in seconds. They feature the adjustable gusset style for big calf comfort, there's extra room to accommodate clothing tucked in boot, and you can customize the fit for optimum comfort and protection. They feature a double Achilles heel and instep that provides reinforced comfort and protection. The boots are two inches taller than Dry Shod's regular model for extra protection against the elements and brush. The boots feature a nylon shank a full camo color. They have a removable molded EVA sock liner. They feature a four-way stretchable, breathable air mesh lining and that moves the air to keep you dry and comfortable. They offer easy on and easy off. Again, they have four-way stretch materials and a generous heel kick for that easy on and off convenience. They have genuine hand-laid rubber there's no PVC, PU, or TPR. They offer super stability 
We have a reinforced tuck board with rigid shanks for added stability. So again, stability, comfort, very important to me. I don't want a boot that uh, will easily slip off a climbing stick. Thanks for checking out the review. Take care, guys. Hey guys, Dave Chamberlain here. And uh, today I want to share you, with you guys the Irish Setter Mud Trek hunting boots. And uh, super excited about using these boots this year. Um, I know they'll do a good job of keeping my feet warm. Um, lots of great features. So uh, these boots are a versatile pull-on style boot with two distinct fits and five insulation choices. So I want to give you guys some good information on it. We'll pull the camera in close and uh, we'll go over some of the features and the details that uh, make these boots great. Yeah, guys, I brought you in close. Let's take a look at the Mud Trek from Irish Setter. This is a hunting boot and it's the model 48. 54. So again, the features of the model 4854, they have 17 inches of protection from the elements. They're 100% waterproof. So that's a big thing. Um, definitely want a boot that's waterproof as you walk across creeks, um, walk through the snow. We face all kinds of elements. So definitely want a boot that's waterproof. They have RPM technology which is a breakthrough composite material that significantly reduces the weight of the boot, providing extreme comfort and added endurance. So uh, me personally, I don't want a boot that's heavy. I'm walking back in the woods very far. Um, like I said, walking through deep snow, um, walking through a, a work field. Um, anyone that's done that, you know that the mud just wants to cling to your boots and they get heavy really fast. So. You definitely don't want uh, a heavy boot that's gonna weigh you down and wear you out uh, before you even get to your stand. Talking more about the features of the boot, I also just wanna thank you guys for watching the review. Hopefully I provided you with some good information. Lots of great products, so look for those. Hey guys, take care and have a great season. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the 8 Fans Women Muck Boot. And I've already checked them out. They look incredible. So I'm going to show you guys what I've seen on them so far. I'm going to use them out tomorrow for the first time. And I think they're going to be cool. They have like a air mesh lining. So it keeps your foot like more dry than a usual boot would. And it also has like a rubber outsole for traction. But these boots on the bottom look like they're going to be so nice. I don't know if you can see, let me turn sideways. For like walking in the mud and stuff, like it's gonna be way nicer than the boot I have right now. They're just a cheap pair. But they also have 1000 Vinsulate, so it's gonna be super warm. So that's gonna be nice for my foot because my feet are always cold. But I also even like the camo. And the back is like adjustable for like, like if you loosen them, you can get them off easier and then you can tighten them when you're walking and whatever. But I think they're gonna be awesome. I can't wait to use them out tomorrow and I'll let you guys know like more on them and how they worked and everything and I also I'm a size 8 and they fit me perfect so I would definitely recommend like the shoe size thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe